before we proceed, I want to know that this video came out on Odyssey early. So if you guys want to watch on a platform that is powered by a decentralized and open source protocol called Library, you can do so by checking out the link down below. Also, please send a tip on your way. So what is up? It's your Prince, Prince MJ, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going to be playing a free and open source game or a free slash Libre game. I've been planning to do this type of video or type of videos because I'm going to make more because I use free software to create content and why not promote free and open source games and some of the free and open source games that I've looked at while researching are pretty awesome and I think they deserve a lot of credit. So this is the first game that I want to do. This game is called Flare. Flare is an open source 2D like uh, RPG and its gameplay is to be similar to like Diablo and I have played Diablo I think Diablo is made by Blizzard or published by Blizzard I think I'm not quite sure but <laughs> but yeah I played I played Diablo with my dad in uh, back in the day when I was like six years old I don't really know my memory is a little bit foggy I don't really know a lot about Diablo but when I looked at this game I was pretty mesmerized and I really like its art style and it's it's really free and open source and some of the licensing here is uh good it's acceptable so yeah like with their artworks and stuff and being free and open source you can contribute to the project and i think flare is an a, a rpg engine or a game engine so you guys can create your own games and stuff but for now we are going to be playing the official flare game by the team and if you don't know this is made by clint bellinger and contributors the, the official like game by the team is the Empyrean Campaign, which is the game that we're going to play now. I'm super, super excited. Again, if you guys don't really know me and if you're new to the channel, I use free and open source uh, programs or free software to create content. Right now, I'm using a, a Wally free GNU slash Linux distribution, Pure OS to be precise. I use Canon Live for video editing, GIMP, GNU image manipulation program or photo editing and all those stuff I just use free and open source or free software free slash libre software when creating if you don't know free software or free slash libre software is a piece of software that respects the user's freedoms okay so if you guys don't know the four essential freedoms well here we go these are the freedoms that free free software or free slash libre software follows the freedom to run the program as you wish for any purpose. The freedom to study how the program works and change it so it does your computing as you wish. Access to the source code is a precondition for this. That's why we have the term free and open source. Free and open source is a term to distinguish proprietary programs that distribute themselves free of cost. Okay, proprietary slash non-free programs. The freedom to redistribute copies so you can help others. The freedom to distribute copies of your modified versions to others. By doing this, you can give the whole community a chance to benefit from your changes. Access to the source code is again a condition or a precondition for this. And I just realized Flare is an acronym for free slash libre action role playing engine. You guys are clever, team. I'm quite nervous right now because it's been a while since I did commentary, so let's just hop in and play the game. Okay, so here we can create a character. We, ha we, can, we can choose a class. We have Brute. Brutes rely on physical strength and melee weapons to strike down foes. Primary attributes, physical. And then we have the Scout. Scouts specializes in ranged weaponry and a combat accuracy. Primary attribute, offense offense we have adepts adepts have natural abilities in casting magical spells primary attribute metal okay so i think i'm gonna choose brute because i kind of like it's like attribute physical and i like i like swords so why not we can choose one we can choose pictures or artwork okay who's who's like my type uh -huh. uh, this looks like Qui-Gon. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm not a I'm not a girl. 
man. Okay, that's uh. Wait, I cannot pick one. Maybe this guy. Yeah, this guy looks dope. He kind of looks like an assassin. So you can choose a name. So I'm uh, I'm uh, name myself. Let's put MJ because why not? You can also select a perma death option. So that's gonna that's gonna make your playtime much more longer and much more challenging. So if you guys really want to, go ahead. Me no because this is my first time playing. I don't know. You guys may you guys can suggest down below if you guys want me to do the perma death option once I finish the story of the Imperian campaign. I really want to suggest to the to the team Clint Bellinger and the contributors to make another like game or to make another official team game because I don't know. I'm looking forward to this like campaign that we're gonna play and if, if I if I feel ful fulfilled and stuff and if, if I feel that it is really fun or if I at the end of like the game if I feel that it is worthy another a ga another game by the team or some sort of connection to like uh, the team game or this team game then I'll probably suggest the team Clint Banninger and the contributors to make another one or like a prequel or a sequel because this game starts as you being banished I think so let's create our character maybe it's gonna tell us I got a little sneak peek yeah there we go Imperian the city in the sky is a majestic fortress in the last bastion of humankind there we go right here at the, <laughs> the right top corner it's a little <laughs> it's a little high for my comfort but yeah at the height of the kingdom's power the city was a beacon of peace and law when darkness invaded the world in the last age people abandoned the surface imperian was their only refuge now the age of humanity is ending imperian is crumbling scarcity and political infighting have consumed the city some in desperation flee to the surface, hoping to survive without the protection of the city. But no one returns from the surface, must die or go missing. A few hide and survive for a while. Surface dwellers cling to hope, hope that they'll return to Empyrean someday, hope that a hero will fight back against the darkness. There is always hope, but not for everyone, not for you, not for the exiled. Yeah, I think we're the one who's exiled. There we go, we can click the X. Oh, oh, it's shaking. Skeleton, welcome. Or, oh, skeleton with a note. Welcome to the lands of X, of the exiled. Yes, we're, we're the ones who was exiled. We are the ones that was being pertained in that, like, prologue, I think. It's a prologue. Welcome to the lands of exiled. Allow me to go over a few things. Click on the arrow to continue right here. Your health, right here. Mana and experience points are displayed in the top left of the screen. That's where I'm pointing at. We have the ex we have our experience points, our mana, our health. So we can click right here again. In the top of the right or in the top right is a map of your current location. Oh, you can minimize it too. You can maximize, you can adjust it. On the bottom of the screen is the action bar right here. Yeah, you have its hot keys displayed so you can easily toggle between them here you have quick access to your most used abilities in addition you can access the character inventory powers and log menus from the action bar right here okay it's just right next to the to the what is it again i forgot but yeah it's right 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 next to that thing a double o or w a s d will allow you to move around left mouse will use your priory attack okay Good luck. Okay, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't explain me. You didn't. Oh, you didn't explain. Yeah, he didn't explain right clicking. When you right click, I think it uses uh, blood strike. Yeah, I did play a little because I wanted to test it out, but yeah, it's a little. I I spoiled myself a little. But here we go. I think yeah, I do not remember the layout, so I think this is kind of like close to a fresh experience. So let's see. I'm really excited to have this experience with you guys, and sometimes you gotta be, you gotta be, uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be aware of your surroundings sometimes, cause sometimes there's hidden stuff. Sometimes there's just a chest lying around. So let's check it out. Uh, I've been circling this thing for a while now, and I think I, I'm not finding anything. So let's just go down. Okay, 
Wow, the ambience, the sound design is pretty good. I'm digging it. Feels like a game that uh, that you can pay for, <laughs> to be honest. I wanted to date to this project when I get earnings. If you guys want me to get those earnings fast, make sure to subscribe, watch more videos, or follow on Odyssey if you're on Odyssey. And also, maybe tip me, because that will help. And I think it auto-collects your, like, uh, it auto-collects, auto like, the, the, the drops of the... the the, the, the slain the slain troops okay so that's handy I'm not quite sure if it auto collects it maybe you need to click it or click on it first but here we go we are at perdition arbor okay did I did I read that white right? did I read that white right? perdition perdition perdi perdition what perdition oh perdition okay I don't know how to read that or to to like pronounce perdition i think it's perdition yeah harper but yeah here we have udana or udana a metal worker so i think you can trade with with her we're gonna buy something yeah it also has freaking voice lines or like i don't know if that's a like classified as like a voice line but we have like voices that's amazing take a look around yeah wow that's awesome okay Okay, so we can buy that, we can buy this, we can buy this. Well, I think we already have <laughs> have those, so that's not good, Udana. That's not good. I will not accept of your, like, I don't know, belongings, because those are pretty basic stuff. But here we go, we get to talk to her. Greeting stranger, it's not often that we have people come here from the West. I see that you're carrying a weapon. Would you be interested in helping us? Go on. One of our encampment's residents, Crolan, works in the nearby mines. He supplies me with the various gems that I craft into jewelry. Crolan has not returned in some time, and I'm starting to think the worst. Could you please travel to the mines and look for Crolan? I will find some way to reward you for your trouble. Okay, so we now can check the log. Yeah, there we go. You can see the quest, the notes and stuff. So Crowland's missing. Travel to the Perdition Mines and look for Crowland. And we have some waypoints. Yay! So throughout the game, we can find some waypoints. And this is an easy way to travel between places that have waypoints, okay? That's how I can explain it properly. So here we can look around. We also have this guy. Oh, okay. What are you? What do you do, man? And yeah, here we go. Oh, I thought that was a chest. My bad. Okay, we can. Oh, this was a. This is a, t a chest. Oh, a stash, so you can store stuff. I don't know if it works like an ender chest, like in Minecraft, where it just sinks your stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to like explain it. But we have florin, apple. What apple to carry? Apothecary. Okay, he's working with. Uh, or he is an alchemist, I think. I do not know how to pronounce this, but yeah. Here he is. Here's how he looks like. We can Let's trade trade. stuff, or you can we can trade with him. You can get some health potions. Okay. Uh, again, basic stuff. I do not want a wand because I think there's an adept class. And then we can get this. Use empty bottles and various ingredients to create potions. So this mortar and pestle, I think it's called. You can use empty bottles and various ingredients to create potions with it. Okay, nice. And we can, yeah, empty bottles. He's also selling that. He's also selling potions that have been made by him. Oh, wow, you can get scrolls. You can get a summon zombie scroll. A zombie that will fight for you. Okay, I did I did not know that you can do that. Shield scroll. Magic shield. Okay, uh, shoot a fireball. Shoot an ice ball. What? Oh my god, hey scroll. Use move at an move at an increased speed for a limited time. Oh my god. Immunity scroll. Use remove debuffs and become immune to debuffs for a limited time. Again, reflection scroll. Creates a magical shield that reflects projectiles and damages or and damage for a limited time. Wow, these are dope scrolls. Okay. I will give credit to this guy. You gotta give credit for Florian with those amazing scrolls but i think this is the way you can or this is like yeah this is the way where we can get to like the perdition mines 
you can I think yeah there we go and then we have this okay I'm so sorry for you bud okay yeah what is this what are these I mean are these like seats we have like we have like a tone maybe this is a tone but yeah those whose names are written here in, or written here in grave bloom ink are admitted passage to the trail of redemption I guess this uh, this blood this like blood print is by this guy I think he he ascended to redemption okay I, I don't know how to explain it but yeah that's that okay we have two ways oh that's that's the way back that's the way back then we can choose this one there we go wow that's uh kind of confusing I can't wait for like more of those maybe that's gonna be a pu puzzle uh, element sometime in the future of this campaign <laughs> so far I'm digging this campaign I'm I really want the team to make more of these because again it's made by the team so they can create their own storyline and then maybe the community once this game pops off a little bit you can you guys can create a like your own story or your own games wow that's gonna be amazing again this is an engine but this this flare game that we're playing is made by the team okay uh yeah, this is also available on Android, so I'm gonna just link the download page, like, down below. Okay, there's so many. Again, you can right-click to use, like, your class's, like, special ability that uses mana. I think you can also select some other abilities that you can unlock right here in the powers menu. The powers, like, thing. Tab. Okay, we gotta kill this guy. Yeah, here we go. You can select, um... Uh, other abilities that's awesome and ranger magician i think this is adept this is scout this is the 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 warrior okay that's cool and we have the log okay return to empyrean okay let's read that return to empyrean you found a chamber on the east side of perdition harbor that contains the book of the dead the thing that we saw earlier with the teleportation thingies the Book of the Dead states redemption is possible for those who sign their name in Grave Bloom Inc. Florin and Perdition Harbor can tell you more. Good hint. Good hint. Okay, this guy is throwing <laughs> spears. Wow, please. Don't be that rude, okay? I think it's, it has a name, yeah. Goblin Spearman. You freaking dingus. Get out of here. He can't even fight me. Hand, or like, he can't even fight me with, uh, with his like, spear. He just wants to throw his spear instead of use it in close quarters or close quarter combat. Give me some loot right there. Okay, uh, let us see. Wow, the, the ambience is super amazing. The ambience, the ambience, just, it just makes you want to play the game more. Oh, okay, skeletons, crack <laughs> skeleton dead okay nice description game rotting zombie and we have some tombstones you interact with him i'm not quite sure how you can interact with those but yeah that's creepy okay the mines here we can find colan oh no colan hello okay this is an amazing start to the game so you guys can get like the feel of it so i'm glad i made this video and I hope I, I I'm really excited to see what your thoughts about this game are. I'm really excited to see what are your thoughts. Okay, I have grouped them. I think that's good. Yeah, I can hear. Yeah, it's my like uh blood strike, an AOE attack. I think we can get an AOE attack like after this like level, maybe or stage or area or zone, whatever. But yeah, again, a cracked skeleton. Pretty easy since it's cracked, you know what I mean? Okay. I mean, he's a skeleton, so... You can just punch the heck out of him. But, I don't know. It's game logic, to be honest. Okay, let's see. Wow. I just love the combat. It's it's so immersive. We have a barrel. Yeah, there we go. We need to... We need to be wary of our surroundings because we don't want to miss them barrels, them, them chests and stuff. Because that is super, super important. Crates, yeah, those two. Yeah, there we go. We got coins from the, from that crate. Cool, and holy crap, look at the top middle. 
That's cool, man, right there. He turned to a crack skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, don't! Don't kill me, Colin! Ow! Oh my god. Colin's gonna kill me. He's a menace. You freaking dingus. Get out of here. There we go. I got Colin. I got Colin. Colin's key. Mana crystal. Oh my god. My heart is beating. I think I think it's because of like the, 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 the game sound. Or maybe because of like Colin. I do not know. But yeah, let's get out of this. I think we already checked out everything here. Yeah, all the corners are checked. No special things that we can like get from this like cave or from this mine now. It's, it's been scavenged. I just hate those goblin spearmen guys. Like it's so irritating. Imagine like like once the game progresses to uh to its like climax i think yeah imagine those like on top of you or like in the like in the high ground and stuff if if they manage to get the high ground on you man they can just spear you for your life or they can just throw spears at you for your life that's just gonna be so irritating okay goblin scams okay those are scams the guys who can like he can give you close quarter combat. Then we have zombies again. Okay. Uh, log? There we go. Colan's missing. Return to Udana and inform her of Colan's death. Okay, let's get the news. Back to, like, uh, Peridition. Peridition? What do you call it again? Did something change here? I think not. Yeah. It's still the same. Can you go near these? No. Now you can go in them. Wow, that's just gonna be so funny. And that's gonna be an amazing easter egg, but uh, that's not it. Let's just re respect the game. <laughs> so far, I'm loving it. Okay, you, Dana. Here's the news. Crowland. Crowland. I have found Crowland, but he was no longer of this world. Yes, he became a freaking crack skeleton. This is terrible news. Our camp is already small. So this is devastating loss. If it's any solace, solace, I have this key and his or this emerald mementos to remember him by. Awesome. The key is enough of a memento. For your invaluable help, I can at least make you a ring with this emerald. Okay, first treasure ring. Okay. This is or did her trades change? Trade? Uh, <laughs> no, my dude. No, you Dana. Your trade sucks. Okay, let's go to Florin. A post the carry. Book of the Dead. What can you tell me about the Book of the Dead? The Book of the Dead tells of redemption for those who sign their name in Grave Bloom Inc. Your sins will be washed away and you will be able to return to wherever you were banished from. Whoa. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> So where can I find the Grave Bloom Ink? Grave Bloom Ink is not something you find. You must make it yourself. Besides, the Grave Bloom Flower, you will need to sacrifice your own blood with a special blade. Oh, dude, I'm excited to see that special blade. Okay, at the end of like, or maybe at the climax of this like game or campaign. Even if you create some gl Grave Bloom Ink, you will be able to write with anything. The ink won't stick to a no normal quill. You will need to find something capable of holding the Grave Bloom ink. If you can perform the ritual to make Grave Bloom ink and find a suitable writing utensil, redemption may be yours. Yay. Okay, so that's that. I think his trades also haven't changed. So let's go near this like hyperspace waypoint thingy. I don't know. And let's read the logs. Okay, uh, nothing new. I think it's just some stuff with the notes. But we have our first treasure ring, which is or treasure ring, which is automatically equipped for us. So it's a level two ring, five plus five item find chance, and you can sell them too. So that's nice. If we can find a better treasure ring or a better ring, we can sell this guy to make some dinero. But I think that's pretty much it. This was amazing. Can I? Can I see my- Oh yeah, can I see my character? Or can I- I can see my character. You can see my level, my name. Oh! 
So you can increase these. Maybe I think it, maybe. I think I just need more XP. I can increase those. But that's nice. That's super nice. You can you can increase it. And you can also see your stats. Max HP, HP regen. Okay. That's awesome. But I think that's it for now, guys. This was amazing. This is Flare, an amazing open source 2D game engine, but we're we're playing the Imperian campaign, which is made by the official team. Kudos to the creator, Clint Bellinger, and also the contributors for this awesome game or game engine. Again, the license of this game or free slash libre game is GPL V3 or GNU Public License V3 version 3. I think free and open source games need some more like credit because some of them are golden like this one. If you guys really want to try this out, again I have the download link down below. You can check that out in the description of this video. You can you can check out your your uh your OS if it supports it. I think it supports almost like yeah, I think this is cross platform. I think it supports Android. I don't know about iOS, but yeah, you can try it out on Windows too if you're on Windows. Anyways, I think that's it. If you guys did enjoy, if you did, why not support the channel by sending some LBC if you have some LBC to spare? Because I know this will be out on Odyssey. Thank you for watching if you're on Odyssey. Also, why not fire or like the video? And maybe follow me while you're at it. Don't forget to subscribe too if you're on YouTube. And ring your bell so you won't miss any video like this one right here. I want to say thank you to my Patreon on Patreon, Happy Cannon. If you guys want to further support my channel, you can check out my Patreon page. Doing so can can give you exclusive benefits, so why not go check it out if you have time. As always, I hope you guys stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! Oh, can I t attack this guy? Dude, I'm attacking Florin. Oh, dude. I'm so sorry. This game is so amazing. This looks like a freaking frog. Heck? Okay.